Good morning, everybody. It's been a while since I did a mini sketchbook tour for you, so here we go. Uh, this particular week is from January 28th to February 3rd, and um, let's get into it. Okay, this first spread, I was coming home from my sister's place in suburbia. I was on the regional uh, train system called the GO train here in Toronto, and nobody was around. So I sketched what was in front of me. That is my motto, sketch what is in front of me. Uh, so these empty seats were in front of me, my knapsack and um, a bag down there. And I thought it turned out very well. I really admire those people who can do these sort of warped fish eye, fish bowl uh, perspectives. I'm not there yet, but that's why I keep on sketchbooking just to practice. So my knapsack on the bag in front of me inspired me to do this this spread when I got home. Uh, just the just my bags that I carried that day, uh, my knapsack and uh, the no frills grocery bag. I think there's a painting in here. You know, it's like it has nice wrinkles, and I love painting and uh, drawing type. So I think uh, I might do a painting of that eventually. This was a spread that uh, just had to be done. Um, uh, on that January 29th, I was kind of tired that day. I remember I was tired. I was like, oh, what do I need to sketch? What do I want to sketch? Nothing. But uh, there was this tripod in front of me with my sweatshirt on top of it. And I sketched that. And it didn't look that great. So I filled it in with people sketching. My go-to filler, people. The next day, uh, Jacqueline, who I sketched uh, in an earlier um, earlier sketch quite a few weeks ago, I guess. She's a co-worker, and here's Yanni in his different uh, lunchtime napping positions, and my other co-worker, Elmer, over there. <coughs> uh, this was done at the Tim Hortons just by my welding school. There was a gaggle. Is that what you call a group of senior citizens? Well, a gaggle of senior citizens just talking, having coffee, having a great time. And uh, this is what I got of them before they got up and left. And then I believe the next spread, yes, same day, same Tim Hortons, same location, that same table where the gaggle of senior citizens were. These particular two gentlemen sat down and uh, were a lot less... Uh, well, we're a bit more emotionless than, than the previous occupants of this table. And this is what I got of them. Um, this guy had a great hawk nose and I got him down and um, I think they knew I was sketching them, but they really didn't care, which is great for me. Subway sketch. A uh, man was either... Yeah, I think he was napping and what I want to do was get this lady here who was standing right by the door right beside him but um, it got to her stop and so she left. Again another napping session by my co-workers Elmer and Yanni. Um, yeah always nice to sketch them because they don't care that I'm sketching them. Now back to the Tim Hortons. Uh, if you catch on to my commentary, my life is fairly systematic. I go to work, go to welding school, go to Tim Hortons in between, and that's it, and ride the train. Um, I think I need to spruce up my life a bit more. But anyway, back to that Tim Hortons. This guy was on his phone. He had a great sort of receding chin that I, I tried to capture there. And um, that was a sketch. I'm really trying, I'm really enjoying sketching the Tim Hortons chairs now they have this great curve in the back um, and just trying to get the nuance of the actual seat there's a slight dip and then rise on either side haven't gotten there yet but it's a challenge uh, a non-page and one more sketch of probably one of my favorite sumo wrestlers Terano Fuji he's the top dog in the top division of the Japanese uh wrestling ranks and uh, he I believe just won his recent tournament um, uh, so tune in to sumo if you're interested really a uh, great cultural event to watch 
And the last spread of this particular week on February 3rd was a subway guy. He had a great hairdo. I'm not too sure how much hair product he uses and these great shaped glasses. That's what caught my attention. And he was deep in his phone, which I like uh, my sketching subjects to be in. And that's what I got of him. And then this was on the subway. This was on the bus that I had to catch after the subway ride. Um, this guy was sleeping on and off. So I just, this is what I got of him. And then a father and son pairing, uh, in the seat to my right. And this is what I got of them. So that is it folks. The last spread of this particular week of public transportation passengers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.